Guys, let's, let's break it up on some things we know. So first thing, would you guys agree with me, at least in our vision, we can't apply direct substitution here, right? So we agree with that. That'd be the first thing. The second thing is we want to get sine of x over x and 1 minus cosine of x over x, either one of the two or both. So let's look at some manipulation. Well, I can rewrite 2x squared, can I? I can rewrite that as 2x times x. Yes? Now, is it OK for me then to say, well, I'll group that, and I'll group that? I mean, is there anything wrong with that? They're separated. They're all separated by multiplication. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this as basically the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x over 2x times the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 minus cosine of x over x. We've done that before, right? I mean, you're just multiplying. You, if you have two limits, you can just multiply them. That's perfectly fine. You can break them apart. Then, even though you don't really need to do much work after this because that's going to go to 0, just to practice a little bit more, we could take out the 1 half. I'm just going a little overboard just because I know it's still new. But guys, we have 1 half. What's the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x over x? What is this? 1. What is this? Zero. 0. So we could have easily finished this problem 15 seconds ago, right? But just to make sure you guys remember your limit properties, that's why I kind of spent a little bit more time on it. Okay. But obviously, it's nice. Once you have anything that's going to be that you guys can just break that up.